Ask the Doctor with Michael Lang begins in two minutes. Ask the Doctor with Michael Lang begins in 60 seconds. The Doctor with Michael Lang begins in 30 seconds. Ask the Doctor with Michael Lang begins in 10 seconds. When it comes to your health, are you seeing the check engine light come on more than normal? It's time to get under the hood. It's time for Ask the Doctor with Dr. Michael Lang. Sponsored by Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins. Dr. Lang is a board-certified optometric physician and certified nutrition specialist, helping people see and feel better through proper nutrition for 25 years. The doctor is in Call now with your questions at 877-969-8600. That's 877-969-8600. Here's your host, Dr. Michael Lang. Okay, good morning and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins. If you've got a question regarding your vision, eye care, or a nutritionally related topic, please don't hesitate picking up the phones and give me a call. Also, my co-host, uh, Doc Hall, is on the air with me today as well. We've got a great show for you guys today. Uh, if you're new to the program, who's Dr. Lang? I'm a board-certified optometric physician. Uh, I'm the founder of the Lang Eye Care and Associates, the Lang Eye Institute, as well as Fortify Vitamins. And I've been hosting Ask the Doctor on multiple radio stations and live social media, video streaming all over the world since April of 1993. Nonstop. A lot of you picked me up when I had a drive time show every morning at 9 o'clock, every morning except Sunday, and Sunday we were on at 1. Uh, so even on Saturdays, we were uh, live. I've been on a Saturday for, geez, almost 30 years. So this show is dedicated to you, the listener, the consumer. We talk about anti-aging. We talk about natural ways of helping your eyes and your entire body. So phone lines are open, one 969 8600 That's one 877 969 8600 uh, you can learn a lot more about the supplements that I've developed and researched, and Doc Hall has helped me out quite a bit on the whole sports nutrition side of it. He's an icon in the sports nutrition industry. And you can learn more at fortify.com. That's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E. Remember, I'm an eye doctor, so it's kind of a play on words, fortify.com. Also, the toll-free number for Fortify Vitamins, I'm going to give this to you twice, get a pen and a paper. You can call it even on Saturdays until about 3 and the toll-free number for Fortify Vitamins is 866-503-9746. That's 866-503-9746. Uh, we have the Lang Nutrition Center in Ocala, where Doc Hall hails from, and then the Fortify uh, Nutrition Center here in Clearwater. As a matter of fact, after the show today, I'll be there for an hour or two, about 11 o'clock. So 11 o'clock um, till about 1, I'll be there. So... You come on by the Fortified Nutrition Center in Clearwater. It's right there on McMullen Booth Road. 
in the Bay Side Plaza, right where Publix is, right there near Safety Harbor. So I'll be there for a few hours talking nutrition, so come on out and pick my brain. Um, the phone number for four to five items, I'm going to give this to you twice again, 866-503-9746. One more time, 866-503-9746. Also, I want to mention, I call him the asset at the Lang Eye Institute. That is Dr. Chris Costello. He's been with us for months and months now. I think he started in October. He's doing an amazing job. He enabled me to be able to take the whole month of February off, although I did go in and see some VIPs uh, this Wednesday and Thursday. But I had the rest of the month off. So Dr. Costello is an ocular disease expert. He's an optometric physician, years and years of experience down in South Florida. And he's joined the team, Dr. Chris Costello at the Lang Eye Institute. Also, of course, Dr. Lori Caputi has been with me uh, since almost day one. She's still on our staff and doing a bang-up job. The phone number for the Lang Eye Institute, and then we're going to take some calls. The phone number for the Lang Eye Institute, if you'd like to have uh, an appointment for an eye examination, if you're interested in any type of retinal surgery, cataract surgery, uh, natural approaches to your eye disease, uh, certainly give us a call at 352-753-4014. That's 352 753 Four zero one four, and with that, I'm going to let Doctor uh, Toss chime. I mean, I toss it to Doctor Hall chime in and tell us what's on the agenda for the show today. Good morning, my good friend, and a very happy Saturday to all of our listeners. Uh, we do have a great show planned today. Um, Doctor Lang and I are going to discuss that dreaded four-letter word: diet. Uh, we have tips and ideas to keep you uh, on the path, hopefully, and uh, to give you some direction with things. We also uh, will be discussing how both Dr. Lang and I have lost almost 30 pounds each since the holidays. Uh, we both uh, um, not challenge each other. We help each other. We encourage each other, and we're there for each other to, to keep going. And, uh, and it's worked out very well. And, uh, and we're going to share that with you and how to do it. And I know everybody thinks, well, you guys are professionals. You should know how to do that. And it was easy for you. Um, you know, it, it's still, we're still just like everybody else. You know, we struggle to, to keep our wellness up there and, uh, you know, keep in shape uh, uh, and have fun doing it along the way. And we're going to share some of those things with you and some tips and, and uh, uh, it's a little bit of fact. So sit back uh, for that extra uh, uh, cup of uh hot tea and relax and enjoy and um oh i uh, just received some uh, breaking news from our newsroom here at the uh, salem media and it is national hat day um so back to you dr lang <laughs> of course of course i forgot my hat again all right uh yeah today's <laughs> gonna be a great show all of you that are tuned in listening and you can pinch more than an inch most of you driving right now can reach down and pinch more than an inch right you can't you so all that stubborn fat that you can't get rid of. Well, New Year's resolution for 2021, can you believe it, uh, is to get down to your ideal weight, body weight. And I talked about this uh, a few shows ago, a few months ago. I said if there was one thing you can do, the number one thing you can do for your health, I don't care if you're hypertensive, if you're diabetic, if you have macular degeneration, cataracts, glaucoma, um, elevated cholesterol, elevated triglycerides, rheumatoid arthritis, immune compromise, collagen vascular disease, there was only one thing you could do to promote wellness and be healthier. That would be to lose weight, to get down to your ideal body weight. Let me tell you, the 30 pounds that I've taken off, you know, I used to race competitive motocross before I raced cars. And I had a bad accident back in 1979, broke my neck, my back, and my right leg in five places. Uh, and I was pretty fast. So I have some degenerative arthritis in my spine and in my knee. And it got to the point about three, four years ago, I could barely go up and down steps. So the new house I built on the bay, I put an elevator in, right? Because I think I'm going to be a crippled soon. Well, let me tell you, the 30 pounds off, I'm running up and down the steps now. It is amazing. So weight loss is key. If you guys are 500 pounds or 150 pounds, if you need to lose weight, this is going to be a great show uh, for you to listen to. Also, we're going to talk about a natural approach to dry eye. I had a lot of you chime in uh, on a social media uh, podcast I did um, a few days ago, and you wanted me to talk about uh, dry eye natural approaches. But what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the first call of the morning, and I bet everybody knows who that is. Bob's usually the first call for about 20, 20 years now. Bob, good morning. Welcome to the program. I wish you wouldn't have said 20 years, doctor. <laughs> my, oh, my. 
Time flies when you're having fun. Well, that's altogether true. That's altogether true. I have a question that that I'm sure both you and Dr. Hall will be able to participate in. Uh, Every morning, my regimen starts with uh, getting my supplements out of the cupboard and distributing them on the countertop. And uh, those that I take twice a day, I put one pill for breakfast and the other one uh, for later in the afternoon, generally after supper. But um, I, I'd like for both of you to expound on the best way of taking multiple types of supplements during the course of the day. Well, all right. I would say that you divide it up during the day. Don't take everything all at once, okay? And almost every vitamin, almost every supplement always absorbs better when you have some fat. So eating a meal, eating it, taking it with food. Probiotics are one that I like to take on an empty stomach. So your probiotics, you should probably take first thing in the morning or last thing at, at bedtime or some in the morning and some at bedtime. And remember, probiotics definitely help weight loss. And we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. And enzymes help weight loss. The enzymes you got to take right before your meal, five minutes before your meal. So probiotics on an empty stomach, enzymes preferably five minutes before your meal. But the regular ones, like if you're taking a multivitamin that has lots of things in it, vitamin C, you know, B complex, D, E, all of that, uh, take that with a meal. And if you're taking two a day, don't take them both at the same time because a lot of that is water soluble and you're actually going to excrete it. You're going to urinate it out. That's when your urine is very yellow. That means you're probably not absorbing it all and you're urinating some of it out. So also that can mean that you're dehydrated. And most people that are listening to the show are dehydrated. You got to drink more water. That's also for our weight loss. You got to drink more water. All of you, think about it. Uh, Drink a bottle of spring water, you know, every hour or every hour and a half or so. You got to drink half your body weight in ounces of water. Um, So spread the vitamins out. Um... Keep taking the vitamins, but take them with some fatty foods. And fat is good, believe it or not. You know, things like avocados and coconut oil and and, and a good type of milk like uh, A2 cow's milk or goat cheese or goat's milk, those have good fats. Now, the bad fats are trans fats, obviously, which is margarine and chiffon and things like that, which I don't even think they make anymore. So most trans fats aren't on the market anymore. Uh, saturated fat isn't that bad if it's coming from a good source, especially if it's grass-fed and organically raised. Doc, you want to chime in? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing that uh, that I do want to say there to kind of uh, light uh, what you've said about taking um, uh, your vitamins with food is um, uh, when you take vitamins, I hear this all the time, Dr. All, I cannot take vitamins anymore. They actually nauseate me. They make me sick. Can't take them. And then when I ask, you know, well, how do you take them? Well, I take them with a water or a glass of orange juice first thing in the morning. Well, there's the problem, Um, especially with the orange juice, a lot of acid there. And you're putting those in a basically an empty stomach. And uh, there's no enzymes uh, involved to break down the vitamin or anything. There's just acid. So, of course, you're going to feel that little bit of nausea there. And it it stops people from actually taking their their vitamins. And uh, all you have to do is just eat some food. It doesn't have to be a big meal. But it has to be solid food, and that way, that, that that engages the enzymes in the body. It releases those. It tells your body, okay, I'm going to eat. I need enzymes to break down the food and digestive enzymes, especially. That's that's what we're talking about. And so make sure that you you take some food. And again, doesn't have to be a big meal. If you're not a big breakfast eater, that's okay. Uh, just eat something small as long as it's solid, and you'll get through that whole thing. Um, also. Uh, as Dr. Lang said, break up your vitamins. Um, I hear a lot of times people, you know, they just want to get it over with. So if they're taking two, uh, say, of our omega-3s, uh, our omega-3 max a day, they take them both at the same time. No, divide them up. Take one in the morning, take one in the, in the afternoon or the evening. And that way you're getting better coverage of, of the vitamin for your entire body for the entire day and evening rather than just that blast. Um, uh, and then you're you're going without the rest of the day. So, but those are just a couple little tips there to uh, uh, to help you with uh, with with vitamin intake and and like that. And uh, uh, Bob, it was good to see you yesterday. I, he visited the office and we discussed his exercise uh, plan and and like that. So it was good to see him. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I knew that that answer was going to be. 
uh, educational not only for me, but for anybody else listening. Gentlemen, have a nice weekend. Uh, Lord willing, we'll talk to you next week. Ah, thanks for the call, Bob. Thank you, Bob. You're All right. You're listening to Ask the Doctors. I'm Dr. Michael Lang with Dr. Hall. And if you got a question, give us a call, 1-877-969-8600. That's 1-877-969-8600. All right, talking about dry eye, there's a few things you can do, and I always preach this, four things you can do for dry eye. This is if your eyes feel sandy, gritty, burn, tear, itch, okay? That's dry eye syndrome. Everybody has it sooner or later. And you can heat the lids up, so a hot compress or the brooder mask, okay? Heat up the lids a couple of times a day. That opens the meibomian glands and allows you to secrete a healthier lipid fluid. Getting rid of this dry eye, that's the cushioning layer that's crucial. If that's deficient, then you're gonna have dry eye. Also, if those glands are blocked, you're more susceptible to getting scarring on your cornea, blurred vision, the symptoms of dry eye, and styes and hordeolums and chalazions. So heat them up twice a day in the morning and the evening right before bed. After you heat them, you got to clean them because all the stuff's going to ooze out of the glands, the bacteria, the viruses, the antigens. So then clean them really good with some baby shampoo or buy Ocusoft foam or any of the foam cleansers that you can buy over the counter through your optometrist's office or at Fortify.com. All of this you can buy on the website at Fortify.com. We've got some special dry eye kits on there that have all of this all in one. It's dramatically discounted. So we heat them, we clean them, we lubricate them. And lubricating eye drops you buy over the counter are kind of like fish oil and vitamins you buy over the counter. You hear me talk about them all the time. Most of those have no therapeutic value and are about useless. It's almost like water that you're putting in your eye. But there is a good one you can buy over the counter called Fresh Coat. Fresh Coat is hard to find, but it is a very good one. It used to be prescription. Fresh Coat and Oasis Tears Plus are the two favorite ones that I like. Both of those you can get through any of the Lang Nutrition Center, the Fortified Nutrition Center, the Lang Eye Institute, or you can get it at Fortify.com. Oasis Tears Plus has hyaluronic acid in it. So once you put the drop in your eye, rub the excess in the paraorbital region around your eye. It helps hydrate away these fine lines and wrinkles due to the hyaluronic acid. So either Fresh Coat or Oasis Tears Plus, use it as frequently as you want. You can't overuse it, all right? And these are preservative-free, so it will not harm you. So now we heat them, we clean them, and we lubricate them. And probably the most important thing is nutrification of the eye and the glands. The right form of nutrients. Omega-3 is crucial in the triglyceride form, like Fortify Super Omega or Fortify Super Omega-3 Max. Studies have shown that black currant seed oil and gamma linoleic acid, especially when combined with omega-3, helps dry eye symptomology even more. And there are some studies out there promoting astaxanthin that's in our Fortify Focus and helping to alleviate dry eye symptoms. So what did I do a year or two ago? I'm holding this up in social media. I created something that has all of that in it. It's called Advanced Dry Eye Therapy Blue Light Shield. This is great for all of you that are working on the computer, anybody that has dry eye, anybody with inflammation in their body, not just their eye, and anybody wanting better skin health. There's nothing like it on the planet. It's the only one like it. I don't want to brag. Uh, it's $62. That's a pretty good deal because inside this box is a bottle of the uh, Fortify Super Omega, a bottle of the Fortify Focus, and a bottle of black currant seed oil with GLA. So this is great for dry eye. So now remember, you heat them, you clean them, lubricate them, and you neutrify them. If that still doesn't work after three months, talk to your optometrist or ophthalmologist about having punctal plugs put in your eye. The little plugs we put in the drain, it takes two minutes to do. It's covered by your insurance. It's painless. It's like putting a stopper in the bathtub. Put a stopper in the bathtub, the water stays in the tub. We put a stopper in your drain, your tears bathe your eye, okay? Now, let's try, say we tried all that. You still have dry eye. Then you come back and we do a procedure called Ilux or Lipiflow. Uh, we prefer Ilux. We do that in the office. It's a procedure, kind of like a spa treatment where it massages and opens the glands and heats them up. It's not covered by insurance. It's about five dollars $600 to do that. It's called Ilux. We do it at the Lang Eye Institute. It opens up all those glands. It's painless. It's a great procedure. And then the final piece of the puzzle for dry eye. If you have really bad symptoms and have dry eye, we use stem cell amniotic membranes, something like Procara. We do a lot of those at the Lang Eye Institute. So we are a dry eye center of excellence at the Lang Eye Institute, Dr. Costello, myself, and Dr. Caputi. So that was a quick nutshell uh, synopsis on the natural approach for dry eye. You don't need to use any expensive drugs 
for dry eye if you do this and follow these steps. Learn more at fortify.com about what we just talked about. All right, we're going to go back to the phones. Let's see. I think Gail has been waiting patiently. Gail and Cedar Key are in. Yeah, Cedar Key, good morning. Good morning. I'm one of your patients, and so is my husband, and we love you. Oh, uh, I thank want you. To know, I want to know why you wash the nuts and how you wash them. Why we wash the nuts? Well, what was that yeah, you again? Said to wash, you said to wash you said nuts are good for you, but you need to wash them. Right. So how do you s- soak why them. And how? Yeah, you soak them. And the reason for that, the macadamia nuts, you do not need to soak. Chestnuts, you don't need to soak. But cashews, you should soak. All the other ones, you should soak because uh, they're very high in something called phytic acid. And many are high in lectins. When you soak them overnight, put a little bit of lemon juice or a little apple cider vinegar in there. It's got to have a little acid medium. That reduces what we call anti-nutrients that are in many nuts. They're not in macadamia nuts and they're not in chestnuts. They're very high in cashews, they're high in almonds, they're high in uh, everything. Pistachios are pretty safe, too. So if you're going to have to eat nuts and seeds, eat chestnuts, uh, pistachios, um, uh, macadamia nuts, and then soak the rest overnight. It makes them much, much healthier for you. Phytic acid and lectins can destroy the gut lining, cause you to bloat, cause you to retain water cause leaky gut, a whole host of things they can cause, irritable bowel, but they can block mineral absorption. And if you're going to get seeds, try to buy sprouted seeds. So pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, buy the sprouted ones, okay? If you're going to get flax seeds and chia seeds, you can eat those. Don't eat a lot of them, though, because those are phytoestrogens. So that can screw with your hormones, especially men. You know, uh, you don't want to womanize your body if you're a man. Well, some people may. (laughs) <laughs> but most don't. So uh, stay away from flax seed and stay away from chia seeds uh, in high amounts. Same thing with red wine. People don't realize this. Red wine is a phytoestrogen. All right, Gail. Okay. Thank you very, very much. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. So once again, uh, the phone lines are open. If you've got a question regarding your vision or nutrition, give us a call. you got two doctors. The consultations are free. Uh, remember, this does not replace an eye examination or medical evaluation. This is for educational purposes only. 1-877-969-8600. That's 1-877-969-8600. Now, I originally had spoke about these nuts and seeds. There's an article I wrote about the truth of nuts and seeds on my website at drmichaellang.com. Go to the section um, on the blog. And also, it's on the, uh, the Lang Survival Diet. And, folks, I posted all sorts of recipes. Doc Hall and I worked on these and the, uh, on the Lang Survival Diet. So if you Google Lang Survival Diet or go to DrMichaelLang.com, go to the blog section. Not only does it talk about the diet, it shows you about 40 different recipes with pictures. So that's a great way to start your weight loss. Remember, the most important thing in weight loss is eating the right foods. And, Doc, you know, we talked on the way in just talking about the show a little. What we were talking about uh, briefly go over this before we take the next call uh, with Tony. But remember, we talked about what what foods are in the house. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Lang, one of the best tips that I can offer is this simple rule that I've, I've held over the last 30 years uh, of about eating clean. And it's simply it, it's just this. If you don't buy it, you won't eat it. OK. And let's face it, uh, when you buy a food that that, you know, is not really good for you. Uh, it's with the intention of eating it, right? I mean, that's why we buy it. We're going to buy those cookies or chips or whatever with the intention of eating it. That's why we buy it. Well, the thing is, is if you don't buy it, the temptation is not there. And uh, it, it's like with me. I'm human, too. You know, so if I buy those treats and stuff and they're in the cupboard and, oh, geez, I want to sit down and watch TV and like that, well, I want to look for a snack. Well, there's such a thing as a healthy snack, too. And uh, one thing that ties in with this, and I, and I want folks to try this, because this, this is really telling, and, and I will guarantee you, you will put back that, that uh, box of cookies or chips or whatever. When you pick up a package of, of something that you know is not necessarily good, but you really want it, it's one of those treats, it's one of those things you've had for the last 30 years. Um, what I want you to do is turn the package over, look at the label, 
And the big number up there, I want you to multiply that. Okay. Um, say for instance, uh, sugar cookies, you're going to, your favorite cookies, sugar cookies, and they're 150 calories each. Okay. Mm-hmm. 24 of those in the package. So 24 times 150 is 3,600. That's a pound of, of weight that you're going to gain folks by eating that box. Simple as that, you know, and also while you're at it, multiply the fat and especially saturated fat and all those empty sugar calories in there and the sugar and the carbohydrates, multiply those by 24 too. I will get, as, as Dr. Lang would say, I will guarantee <laughs> that you, you will put those snacks back on the shelf. And it's very simple, honestly. If you fill your refrigerator, your freezer, and your cupboard with good, healthy, clean foods, that's how you're going to eat. It's simple as that. It really is. Um, uh, back way back in the day, if some of you can remember, uh, the, the diet guru at the time was Richard Simmons. And uh, he would actually go into his client's house unannounced, walk into their kitchen and start throwing stuff out of the cupboard into the wastebasket. And a lot of times on his TV show, because I used to watch it, it was fun, it was funny to, to watch, but he would go in and people would have nothing left in the cupboard. Yep. But that was the whole idea of it, was to show you that what you're eating is not good for you. Uh, your, your wellness uh, uh, profile is not going to uh, uh, go up a level or two if you're eating junk all the time. And a lot of times we don't know that we're eating junk. We think we're doing better than, than what we are. And that's why I suggest to everybody, uh, and this I was going to talk about this later, but I'll just flow right into it for 30 seconds, is keep a diet or, or what I, I call a, a fitness and exercise journal, okay? And you write down everything that you're eating and, uh, and do it at the end of the day. It's kind of nice to reflect back on what you did that day. Did you exercise and like that? And I'm telling you what will happen with this. You'll start noticing a trend in there that, gee, I'm not really eating as, as is, you know, is, is top shelf as I should. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, it will bring that to light to you. Also, you don't want to disappoint yourself or disappoint the journal. So at the end of the day, when you go, gee, I haven't exercised today, you know what will happen? You'll get up and you'll go do something. You'll go exercise because you don't want that blank spot in your journal that, gee, I didn't do anything today and I ate terrible today. And, uh, and it helps, honestly. And then when you bring that journal into me for a consultation, you and I are going to go over that journal, and I'm going to point out the goods, the bads, and the uglies in there. And, uh, and then we'll make some uh, corrective action, and we'll go from there till the next time. But that little journal, honestly, it doesn't have to be anything big or elaborate. It can be a notebook. It can be like the old diary type of thing. And uh, I've kept one, honestly, for 30 years, and it worked. It really does work. So back to you, Doc. All right, Doc. Thanks. Uh, We're getting ready to take a call. In just one second here, I just want to do a rapid fire really quick before we get the next two calls. To help you lose weight, because we might not have time to go over this, seven hours of sleep. Studies show if you get seven hours of sleep, you're going to lose 33% more fat. Take your enzymes and your probiotics. Drink more water. Definitely will lose belly fat. Whey protein is high in CLA. Whey protein fills you up. CLA helps you burn fat. Take one to two tablespoons of coconut oil. The medium chain triglycerides help you lose body fat, believe it or not, especially belly fat. The studies have shown coconut oil, two tablespoons a day, can help lose belly fat. Now, not total weight, but that stuff that's resistant, where you can pinch more than an inch. Get 10,000 steps a day on your watch. Do not booze it anymore. Stop the alcohol. Believe it or not, you're going to save a lot of calories. Smaller portions when you're eating. Eat the Lang Survival Diet. Check out the uh, Fortify Healthy Weight Loss Bundle on uh, uh, Fortify.com. Fortify Healthy Weight Loss Bundle. Sunshine is very important. When you got a good tan, not only does it hide the fat, it helps you metabolize fat. If you have very high vitamin D levels, you're less likely to be obese. With that, we're going to talk to Tony and then Mike. Tony's first. Tony, thanks for holding. Hey, Dr. Lang, Dr. Hole. How are you doing on this fine Saturday? Fabulous. All right, so I'm calling in two weeks after um, I called in last to give you an update on Fortify Fit. As you know, um, you've held me accountable on my daily weigh-ins. I've sent you pictures of my blood sugar numbers and my scale readings first thing in the morning on email, which you respond back to with uh, you know plenty of encouragement. 
And I just want to let you know that I've been to my doctor since I started on January 27th. Uh, it's been 24 days. I've lost 27 pounds. And my doctor has cut my insulin in half. Oh, yeah. That's 70 units twice a day. That was 140 units of insulin a day. And he's got me down to 60 a day. So that's 10 units less than half of what I've been taking for the last, I can't even tell you how many years. Um, he's very happy with my results. I told him about the Lang survival diet. I told him about the Fortified Fit. He told me to keep it up. I go back uh, in May for another uh, uh, diabetes check, uh, blood check, and test. Um, it, it's just been tremendously successful for me. My dad has expressed interest in it as well. Uh, Monday, I went and got my bundle, and I gave him one of the containers. He just ordered his own bundle on top of that. And since Monday, he's lost eight pounds. You know, so it's working immensely for me and my family. Um, I'm getting more people on it to join the bandwagon. Like I said last time, you know, I'm not a salesman. I'm not employed by Fortify. I have no vested interest in the company. I just know that, you know, it, it's a product that works. And if I'm getting these kind of results, I know other people will too. Sometimes the smallest step in, in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life. So if you got a tiptoe to start, do it. But you definitely have to take the chance and take the step. Try the Fortify. If you're suffering from diabetes, bad blood sugar numbers, this is going to change your life. Thanks, Tony. Tony is, has joined the Fit Revolution along with a lot of you guys and gals out there, and Tony is practicing what he preaches and practicing what I preach. I've helped him out quite a bit, you know, via social media, via the phone and texting, and he is a compliant individual now, and he's an anti-aging, fat-burning machine. And like I said, uh, we're going to walk. Well, all three of us are going to be walking down the beach in a Speedo and uh, maybe in the summer. That'll be a great video, won't it? <laughs> Doc, you got to chime in, and then we got to take Mike on the next line in just a second. Absolutely. I appreciate Tony's call. And, uh, by the way, he did visit me the other day. He came to the Lang uh, Nutrition Center, and we had a, a good visit. And, uh, and he's absolutely right. He's not an employee. He's not a paid uh, endorser of the product or anything. He's just somebody that knows it works. And uh, we had a great talk, great guy. And uh, I encourage them to keep calling in and, and letting us know updates, you know, because that's just, it's not an ego thing for you and I. It just validates what we've been saying all along, that these things work. And you take baby steps and you get into that cycle and you break the cycle of this madness of, of um, uh, uh, overeating and, and eating the wrong foods and not eating clean. And that's exactly what Tony's done. I mean, he's very serious about it. He's getting his, He's going to recapture his health is what he's doing. Uh, he's going to up uh, up the game uh, as far as wellness goes too. So, um, and folks, I encourage everyone to do that. If you have, uh, if you want to stop by, you have questions, you want to come in and buy your products and like that, you can do that too. But if you have questions, you can stop in. And also, I put in a uh, a hotline into the Lang Nutrition Center uh, just a couple of weeks ago, and it comes right to my desk. And uh, uh, sometimes I may have a consultation, but you know what? I can take your quick question and, and or I can get right back to you, but uh, don't put it off and uh, don't don't do things that are that you know you're questioning in your mind. Give me a call and uh, that number is three five two three five three two two zero six. Again, three five two three five three two two zero six. And you can call me anytime. I'm in the office Monday through Friday. Nine to five, and I encourage you to give you give me a call. There's no charge for that, folks. Just give me a call. Thanks, Doc. You're okay, welcome. Um, we're gonna talk briefly in about ten seconds here. The Fortify Fit it stands for Fortify Intense Training. Uh, we developed it to help build muscle, lose fat. It does help you lose fat. But now we have diabetics. It's helping their control their blood sugar. That's very interesting, isn't it? And there's a lot of science behind why that works. So if you're overweight, if you're diabetic. If you're just trying to build muscle in the gym, you can use this as pre-workout and post-workout or just take one scoop a day. No matter what your age is, 
to get the anti-aging benefits, the uh, fat metabolism, and the energy levels. Okay, we're going back to the phones, and Mike has been waiting super patiently. Mike, thanks for holding. Good morning. Sure. Good morning. Um, hey, I heard you talking about red wine earlier being a phytoestrogen. I was wondering what the difference between the red and the white is. And then does that make grapes a phytoestrogen too, or is it in the fermenting process, or how does that work? Yeah, that's a great question. And grapes, uh, you have to eat a ton of grapes to become a phytoestrogen, and then the, they have to be fermented as well. So grapes are probably pretty safe. Grapes are on the Lang survival diet, all right? But the grapes have to be organic, all right? Now, remember, uh, both wines can be phytoestrogens, all right? Uh, the problem with wines, the big problem with wines, all right, is this. Um, it, and red wine has more phytoestrogens than white wine, all right, because of the resveratrol that's higher in red wine. Resveratrol at low levels has anti-aging properties, but resveratrol at high levels has uh, some, you know, feminizing effects. So if you're just drinking one glass of red wine at night, even two, you're probably okay. But the big problem, Mike, with wine, red wine and white wine, is the added sulfites, okay? So sulfites can cause heart palpitations, can cause brain fog, can cause migraine headaches, can cause heart arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, uh, PVCs, PACs. And so 99% of all wine that you buy in the United States has additionally added sulfites. Sulfites are naturally occurring in wine. But the FTC or the FDA requires them to add more sulfite so nothing can grow in it. Here's an example, and, I, and you should try this, all right? Everybody should try this. Get on a plane right now because it's very cheap to fly anywhere. Fly to Europe. Fly to the Bordeaux region, all right? Rent a bicycle. Bike through the Bordeaux region so you're getting some cardiovascular exercise. Bike through all the wineries and sample the wines there. In France, they don't put added sulfites. When I did this years ago, it was interesting because they said— Here's all the wine that goes through this belt right here. It goes all over the world. Here's the wine we send to the United States, and we put poison in it, and they're adding additional sulfites. So even if it's a Bordeaux or an Italian wine, if it goes to the United States, they have to add more sulfites. So my recommendation in the United States is buy a biodynamic wine, an organic wine, and look at the label. See if it says added sulfites. If it is, I'd stay away from it. Okay, great. Thank you very much. All right, Mike. Take care. Have a good day. All right. And remember, uh, you know, there's the whole French paradox about drinking wine and living longer. So the question is, is it really the wine? Is it the resveratrol in the wine? Uh, Dr. Sinclair at Harvard may think so because he's the big resveratrol guru. Or is it their lifestyle? You know, think about it. If you've been to Italy, especially France, those areas, these guys don't work. All right. You know, we work 10, 12, 15 hours a day as Americans. We're busting our booties, right? You go there. I mean, I remember going through Italy. Uh, you know, they were open at 10 and they close at 12 and they close until 4 and then they work 4 to 6. You know, they go in late. They get off early and they have like a four, sometimes five hour siesta in between. So they don't have the stress that we have in the United States. That might be it. So eliminating stress is very important. And most of their foods there aren't as preserved as ours, the manufactured foods, I like to say. So uh, is it the wine? I don't know. If you're trying to lose weight, that's added calories you do not need. And if you're trying to you know, practice anti-aging, you certainly don't need the sulfites that are in wine. All right. Uh, we're going to the next call, and then Doc Call and I are going to have a chit-chat. Steve in Clearwater. Good morning, my friend. Yeah, one thing you can do about that sulfite, if you're sensitive to it, is you make sure to take, um, make sure that the element molybdenum is in your vitamin supplement, because molybdenum is part of an enzyme that converts sulfate, sulfite to sulfate, which, and you know, everything's got sulfates in it. Wow. Um, but the sulfites, yeah, if it, I think it's sulfite oxidase or something like that. But you can look that up on Google. Look up molybdenum and sulfites, and it, it, uh, will, it'll take care of that problem. Awesome. Steve, I'm glad you chimed in on about that. That doesn't mean I'm going to start drinking a lot more wine, though. <laughs> well, you could. That's true. <laughs> I, got, I got it. When I think back into the days, every time I used to get in trouble, it was always alcohol-related, you know? And, uh, and yeah. so I don't booze much anymore. I haven't been in trouble in a long time. <laughs> Well, you know, it's very interesting that uh, 
alcoholism they're finding is a free radical disease because when when most non-alcoholics drink alcohol, they convert it to a, a acetic acid, which is basically vinegar. You know, it's right. harmless. Right. But most most alcoholics convert it to acetyl aldehyde, which uh, creates free radicals. And the thing that's interesting about it is alcohol, if you notice it ends in OL, like the copperol, retinol, ethanol, right. okay? It's an antioxidant. So what happens is you take the alcohol, it's an antioxidant, but it's metabolized to an oxidant. Then, you know how they, people notice that they have a hangover, they have another drink, it'll disappear? Uh-huh. They take alcohol to quench those radicals. From, so it's not the alcohol, it's the metabolites that cause you the problem. But alcoholism is looked at a completely different way now. It's a free radical disease. And all these hours people spent laying on a couch in a psychiatrist's office, you don't, you know, you wouldn't take a diabetic and put him on a couch and say, get your act together. <laughs> and you would do that for alcoholics. And they, the, 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 the alcoholic has the same trouble with the ethanol molecule as the diabetic has with the glucose molecule. And yet we treat them totally different. We say it's a character problem. We do it. My mother died of it. And I know this is fact. So right. I didn't intend to get into all that, but that's just the way world works these days. Molybdenum. I'm glad you called and let us uh, chime in on that, Steve. Yeah, super duper. All right, take care. Okay. Thank All right. You, Steve. With that, we got to take a break. It looks like they're telling me we got to go to a station identification break and uh, uh, a word from our sponsors. So um, we're getting ready to go to that right now. And then when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit more about weight loss and we're going to talk about Fortify Fit, how it can trigger some of this weight loss. But we're going to go to a break right now. <music> There's nothing more frustrating and irritating than chronic dry eye. It never stops. The itching, the scratching feeling, the fatigue and weariness. If you're suffering from chronic dry eye, go to Fortify.com and join thousands who've discovered Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy. A combination of Fortify Super Omega, Fortify Focus, and Fortify Black Current Oil GLA. Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy works to address oxidation and inflammation in the eye and the entire body. This combination, once only available to patients in the doctor's office, has now become available to you. And already, countless numbers of listeners have found relief with Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy. If you or someone you care about struggles with dry, itchy, exhausted eyes, order Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy today at Fortify.com. That's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E.com or call 866-503-9746. That's 866-503-9746 and at fortify.com. While others are hitting happy hour, you're hitting the gym. While they're hoisting mugs, you're lifting kettlebells. You owe it to yourself to get the most out of your fitness regimen before and after your workout with Fortify Fit. Fortify Fit's power-packed formula is designed to enhance muscle synthesis, strength, and endurance. All evidence-based nutrients in this proprietary formula are well-documented and backed in good clinical studies. Taken before and after your workout, Fortify Fit is also hailed for what it doesn't contain. No dyes, artificial flavors, or carrageenan. With Fortify Fit, you get all you need to get the most out of your workout without needless additives and sketchy sweeteners. Order Fortify Fit today at fortify.com. That's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E.com. Or call 866 866- 503-9746. That's 866-503-9746. 866-503-9746. And at fortify.com. Okay, welcome back to Ask the Doctors. I am Dr. Michael Lang with my co-host, Dr. Hall. And we're here for another 10 minutes or so to talk about... Uh, Weight loss today, uh, once again, remember, if you're not happy with the eye care, get a second opinion. You can come on down to the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, Florida, right there on County Road 401 and 466. Lang Eye Institute is a building that's close to uh, 35,000 square feet. We take care of just about every eye care problem known to man. Uh, remember, we do it all. And Dr. Chris Costello, I really promote him because he is amazing. I like to call him the Lang Eye Institute asset. Dr. Chris Costello is there five days a week. I'm not there five days a week, but I am there certain days. 
uh, the rest of the month, I will be off. So we are talking a lot about weight loss on this show. And remember, I, I, I mentioned some things about sleep is important, enzymes and probiotics. There's some studies out there that have shown that uh, if you take probiotics, they actually inhibit the absorption of dietary fat, increasing the amount that you excrete. So you're pooping out the fat. So probiotics are very important. They re also release an appetite uh, regulatory hormone that helps you uh, to block these calories and eat less. Um, and they do reduce inflammation in the gut. So remember these uh, love handles that you have will start to go down when you go on the right diet as well as taking probiotics. Take the enzymes ahead of time. Remember, we have an enzyme and probiotic bundle. You can buy both of those at a dramatically discounted rate, or you can get the whole kit and caboodle, and it's the Fortify Healthy Weight Loss Bundle. You won't get the Super Blue Green for another few weeks, but it will be out, I guarantee it, in a few weeks. We've been waiting for this new superfood to come out, so that will be uh, mailed to you as that comes out. Um, remember, the whey protein has that CLA in it that helps you metabolize fat. But we're going to talk a little bit about fit because fit is really exciting. Not only does it build muscle and strength and endurance, but it helps it, the people that are using it, the diabetics, it's helping lower their blood sugar. And there's some science behind that. And it's helping them to metabolize a little bit more fat. So there's a lot of things you can do. Check out the new Lang Survival Diet, the revisions to the Lang Survival Diet. Google Lang Survival Diet. Go to drmichaellang.com. Go to the blog section and look at Lang Survival Diet. I have all the recipes in there now that Doc and Hall and I worked on. And you guys have been asking for the recipes, and we even have pictures. So, Doc, uh, you got time to chime in for a few minutes here. I absolutely. Um, I, I really love the, the new uh, Lang Survival Diet on our, on our website. Uh, it's more comprehensive. It really, if, if you can't follow this and like that, there's, there's just no reason. Because as Dr. Lang said, there's even photos there of, of the, uh, the final uh, food products and like that, recipes. And it explains everything in detail. So it's not just a list of, uh, you know, good food for you. It's an actual diet. It lays it out for you, folks. And that's what Dr. Lang and I have been following. And the proof is in the pudding. Um, uh, so to speak, um, uh, we've both lost close to 30 pounds since the first of the year, since the holiday. And, uh, we both decided that, uh, you know, this is what we're going to do. As many of you know, I've, I've been a, I was a competitive body puller for many years and I kept extra body uh, weight on, not necessarily body fat, but body weight. I was always that 240, 250 pound bodybuilder. And I got to a point in my life where, you know, I'm not going to compete anymore. And I don't have to be that big guy. And uh, so Dr. Lang and I got together and we decided, you know, we're going to change things around. We we're always experimenting uh, on, on with supplements and, and like that and exercise. And we get together all the time. We train together. We eat together. And uh, so we decided this is what we're going to do. And it was amazing. We followed the, the Lang uh, survival diet to the T and the, the pounds, honestly, and the fat. That's the key to it. The fat started just melting off. And it wasn't hard. Um, I'm a quantity eater. I've known that for years. Uh, you can't give me a carrot stick and a celery stick and, and have me be happy. Um, that's going to make me mad. Uh, I'm, I'm a quantity eater. So this allows me to do that when I'm eating good, clean foods. And not that we didn't do that, but we just followed it, it, it on a more strict manner. And we're exercising. We're doing all the right things. And the big thing is what, what Dr. Lang, he's sleeping more. It's regulated his body. Um, this guy would call me at 2 o'clock in the morning with an idea, you know, or, or tell me he's exercising at 2 in the morning because he didn't do it the night before. You know, well, now he's not doing that. So sleep is a big thing. One little possible, uh, a real good positive side effect um, that I want to uh, put to people. I hear this all the time. Dr. Hall, my knees are killing me. My elbow joints are killing me. My hips, oh, my gosh, I can't get up out of the chair, you know. And here's the thing, for every pound of weight that you lose, every single pound that you lose, it takes four pounds of pressure off of your knees. It takes six pounds of pressure off of your hips. Okay, so imagine if you're, if you're overweight, what if you lost 50 pounds? Okay, that's 300 pounds of pressure wow. off of your hips. That will make an amazing difference. You know, so there's a lot of little things 
um, uh, positive things that uh, that happen when you lose weight. Blood pressure regulates, cholesterol comes down, the good goes up, the bad comes down. All kinds of good things happen, folks, with that. And uh, and you know, take baby steps. You know, I had a I had a client in the other day, Doctor Hall. I I have to lose a hundred pounds. I just can't imagine losing a hundred pounds. It's going to be so hard for me to do. I said, I don't want you to lose a hundred pounds. I want you to lose one pound. That's all. And then when we lose one pound, we're going to lose another one and another one after that till we get to 100 pounds. Don't think of the big picture of 100 pounds. That's just overwhelming. Uh, take baby steps, folks, and you will get there. But I advise you, please, or, or you know, recommend you go to our website. Look up the, the Lang Survival Diet. It's amazing. Uh, I, I've just written a, a bunch of fresh new articles for the uh, for the website, too, that I think will be helpful for you. I wrote one, uh, uh, 12 uh, Quick Tips. On, uh, on health and wellness that I'm getting some real good response on from folks. So take a look, you know, sit down again, have that cup of tea, sit down okay. in your recliner and uh, take a look. All right, Doc, thanks a lot. We're about out of time here. I want to uh, just do a quick, quick recap. Well, everybody's listening now. I'm going to go very quickly. How do you lose that weight? What are the tips that we recommend? Seven, seven hours of sleep at a minimum, 33% more fat loss. Take your enzymes and probiotics, drink more water. Take a good whey protein supplement. Take a tablespoon or two of coconut oil. Get 10,000 steps a day. Stay away from the booze. That's the alcohol, the red wine. Smaller portions when you're eating. Lang Survival Diet. Check out the recipes on the Lang Survival Diet. Eat those foods. I guarantee you will be happy and you will tell me you're a fat-burning machine. Uh, the Fortify Healthy Weight Loss Bundle on the Fortify.com. Check it out. Uh, consider taking Fortify Fit one scoop a day. Get some sun. Get a tan. Go out there and get some sunshine. Smaller portions, we talked about that as well. All right, with that, we only got 16 seconds. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening to Ask the Doctor. Remember, if you're not happy with your eye care, come on to the Lang Eye Institute. Remember, I'll be at Fortify Nutrition Center after the show. See ya.